All right, I'm gonna make a second video today because, well, I can do that. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how to get a tire off a rim. So, say if you get a steel rim for scrap metal or uh, you're in a pinch and you just switch a tire, you don't have access to a tire machine, well, here's what you can do. It really only realistically need, you know, something to test on, two by six, a couple pry bars, set of side cutters, a little bit of Dawn dish soap helps, and a pickup truck. Well, besides the fact the tire is already obviously flat, you want to get the air out of it, so you either want to take the valve core out, take the core out of here, or you can just cut the valve stem off too if you want. Like so. Comes out looking like that. Next thing you want to do, you can use a lubricating oil, penetrating fluid, any kind of fluid you got, really. But I find the Dawn dish soap where it's good, you just dump a little bit on the beads here and that kind of lubes the tire up so that you can break the speed easily so that's the difficult part in this so you just put a little bit of Dawn dish soap on there let that seep in you'll do the other side too but I'll do that kind of off camera and then let, let that seep in there for a minute that makes a lubricity between the bead of the tire and the rim all right so next thing you're going to do you got to break the beads so after you got your tire greased up you take a 2x6 is your ramp, you need something heavy, so that's where the truck comes into play. And uh, basically, you just back the truck up your uh, little ramp here, and that will push down the bead of the tire because obviously, I do not have a tire machine. Next thing you want to do, back up your truck. Yeah, you might do this a couple of times, but... Alright, I'm going to spin the tire around, we'll do a take two. So now that your camera dies, you're in the best shot. Take your flat bar, stick it down there, pull her over. You do need two bars to do this. Stick your other one in there, and you'll work it back and forth. The flat bar doesn't make life a lot easier. You don't have to have one, but it does it's not <laughs> Now, sometimes you can do this way. I know this is a backwards way to do this, but it does work sometimes.
So after a little bit of wrestling, that's what you get. I'll show you guys where this is going to go. This goes back here. <laughs> 